all the whole squad fit and available for tomorrow? Yeah, all hands on deck, uh, which is exciting. Um, so going into your first game with a full deck of cards is, uh, you know, a, a great situation for us to be in. So you haven't had that at all. So what does it do for you um, from a playing perspective, having not seen it yet? Look, uh, the guys that have most recently missed games in Norton and uh, Wagstaff, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to be uh, in a lineup with Jesse, uh, but Norton was playing very well until he injured his groin. But with Jesse, like his veteran leadership, just his presence, uh, he, that gives me comfort. Has he on restricted minutes, Morgan? He hasn't done anything at all from the match that you suspected? No, no, but, you know, we we got to be mindful of his his situation and a hamstring injury and all of that type of stuff. So uh, it's just great to have the depth and the experience uh, and knowing that we can go to him for that stuff. Are you, are you settled on how you want it to all look and stuff, or are you still, because you've seen so many different... Um, methods, I suppose, from the way they've all been out there with different combinations and stuff. Are you still working out what your best team actually looks like? Right for, for sure. Um, you know, uh, when I first got the job, I, I had Jesse penciled in for a, a role on this team uh, without having to see that firsthand. Uh, it's it's going to be like a jigsaw puzzle for probably like the first month, and then you throw in injuries and different things that happen throughout the course of the season. But to go into your first game with everyone available, uh, you know, just the depth and, you know, the game's full of emotion and twists and turns. So us being able to handle that with everyone available is the most important thing. You're playing in front of Darwin crowds and a couple of regional crowds here, really, really to have the knowledge that you're going to be in front of a packed RAC arena. What does that do? How excited are you? Oh, look, very excited. Uh, you know, I was talking to someone yesterday. Look, in Darwin, we played three games in five days, and then all of a sudden we haven't played in 10 days. It's like you come to a screeching halt. So uh, I think there'll be a great nervous energy about uh, going into the arena. And uh, obviously the fans excited to see the new look Perth Wildcats. What do you make of the new look prison bullets? Aaron Bain is obviously what everyone's going to talk about. How do you counter someone like him? His presence? Yeah, look, well, the Bullets have done a phenomenal job of just acquiring talent. And at the end of the day, you need talent to win games. So Aaron Baines, his presence, his physicality, uh, is certainly something that every team doesn't have available. So us having a good game plan of negating that. Uh, but then Johnson, a very, very good NBA player, a scorer. And then you've got Sobi that's been missing through injury. Like he's going to be chomping at the bit to get out there and uh, prove his value in the basketball landscape. What's your message going to be to Tay Sean coming up against the Bain? Like you know Bain quite well and something having worked with the system. Is that going to help you to tell him what to expect? Yeah, look, I, I can hopefully give him uh, like a good recipe. He has to be physical. He has to be disciplined. Uh, you know, Baines is very crafty. So us going for shot fakes and different things like that is going to play into his hands. So it's more us being disciplined. And then, uh, you know, Tayshawn's versatile, uh, probably a little quicker than Baines. So us being able to utilize his positives as well. Tend to relax. You know, mate, we had Luke in the, in, the, in the water yesterday doing some shots. Like, it feels like when you see Luke um, doing it, that sort of stuff, does that show exactly what he's prepared to do for this team? Yeah, get out in the ocean and muck around? Yeah, checking out those photos, uh, it, it's certainly a side of Luke Travers that no one thought uh, was achievable. So that's just probably showing his maturity, uh, his confidence. You know, when players are comfortable doing that, I think that's an inward confidence and a belief in what they're doing. Tell me about your dad. Where's he come from? Uh, my father's from Toowoomba, Queensland. That's where uh, I was born and raised. Uh, but he's been gallivanting around the country, following us from Darwin to Perth. So he's clocked up a few Ks in the last couple of weeks. And when I said, tell us where he's come from, he's driven from Toowoomba to Darwin and then driven from Darwin to Perth. Yeah, every, everyone's enamored by it. But uh, he, he's a four-wheel drive junkie. He goes on several long excursions every year. So uh, although he's knocked out the Ks, uh, it, it's not as if he's foreign to traveling like this. It's, it's, like, it's a big commitment to see something involved, isn't it? Like, it must be really stoked that he's prepared to do that sort of a job. Oh, absolutely. Um, you, you know, uh, for him, for myself, for our family, uh, to get that support and that dedication, uh, that, that's what it's about. You know where he's, how long he's, like, did he stop along the way for a couple, a couple of times or a lot of times or has he done it as quickly as, as it's actually possible? No, look, he, he appreciates Australia and the outdoors. So uh, he has maps, he has GPSs. So he's got particular places that he wants to visit on his travels. So 
Uh, there's method to his madness. Good question, until I boot him out. 